Hello, Photography Talk. Alex Schultz here, and welcome to episode 169 of the Learn and Explore series. Today's topic, 4V Design. And all you Photography Talkers, we have a great show in store for you today. Matter of fact, I'm thrilled to do this. Today's guest, all the way from Italy, industry expert Luca with 4V Design. Luca, what do you say? You ready to get this going? Absolutely. So good to be with you here in California through the, the net, through the Skype facility. So fantastic. Thank you. And, and I'm saying it's great to be with you in Italy through Skype. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, guys. Luca is the founder behind the ever so popular 4V Design, a company that produces very high-end leather camera straps and bags. Now, Luca, I've given our listeners just a taste of what we're going to be talking about. Before we dive into these questions, can you take a moment to share with our listeners more about yourself? Okay, so thank you for asking. I'm here. I'm, uh, uh, I, am, I am the father of two beautiful uh, a son and a, and a daughter, 14 and 8. I have a very old cat, a wonderful wife, and uh, I love photography, and my passion are also in motor racing with all cars. I like to restore, to work on them. I used to be a racing driver as well, and I found in photography the same uh, passion I found in motor racing, so I love uh, this world as well. So, in brief. <laughs> what are a couple, just briefly, what are a couple of your favorite older cars if you could restore? Uh, I like, uh, of course, muscle cars from US, but at the moment uh, I'm concentrating on Italian cars from the 70s, wow. like uh, the Fiat Spider or uh, you know, these tiny cars, they used to participate in rallies in the 70s. So I like to drive fast. So I tune, restore, it's really a nice passion. Unfortunately, this company is taking my passion into it. So I have more, little, little time to work on my cars. But uh, it's, it's okay. I take my passion in the products we develop here. So it's very enjoyable. I'm lucky that uh, I, am, I have the chance to love my job. So it's, uh, I'm, I'm lacking in this regard. That is awesome. Well, you know, 25 years ago, I restored a 1973 Fiat X19, and that car was a blast wow. to drive. Yeah. It's a great car. It Absolutely. is. Casino, my 124 uh, Spider. Absolutely. The, yeah, Fiat made some really fun little roadsters back in the day. Well, Luca, we're about to jump into these questions. To get the ball going, what has you most excited about the photography industry today? Well, uh, what I love is that finally we have so many, um, all the brands, so camera manufacturers are bringing the industry not only fantastic camera, technical speaking, but even more and more beautiful. And uh, uh, with the new lens development, they're putting together style with performance. And I think this is very, very exciting even for us to develop uh, camera accessories. So I think uh, the, the brand, uh, all the brand, the market is really revamping thanks to this. More people are getting more excited and actually new cameras are really beautiful, uh, just beautiful. So I'm very happy about it. Well done. Let's start off with these interview questions with the very primitive questions. What is 4V design? Thank you for asking because uh, I heard, I read many speculations, many ideas about this. Actually, very simple. For the design is a privately owned company. We are not part of any group. We are uh, completely independent. We are self-funded. Uh, we have no investor behind us and we live on our job uh, for what we love. And we are investing, uh, working and developing thanks to all the people that are trusting us. But we are very simple very basic we just love what we do we want to make people happy and uh, listening to suggestions from people we do we we say we do products we love for lovely people or lovely photographers this is what we we think of what year was the company founded when yeah. it was founded in uh, 2014 and uh, uh, so it's only two years ago basically but uh, that time uh, was very difficult period for me because uh, I was directing a, a design center for a very important Swedish brand of uh, cameras and uh, things have changed and uh, uh, I was in a moment where even if I worked very hard in the industry I, I achieved very important uh, 
success, uh, did a very good job, uh, there was not enough uh, when politics changes in uh, big companies. So I was very frustrated because I love the, the photography industry and maybe there was the chance I could go out of it. So I decided to quit everything and uh, invest in my own uh, brand. Uh, to do exactly what I love with no politics, just the face of the customer, my face, and do the best we can. Uh, so we are a very genuine uh, company and uh, we want to, to stay this way, even if in the future we, we want to, to grow, of course. But uh, passion, genuine uh, attitude, transparency, uh, no politics is our, uh, is our daily attitude, basically. Let's jump in the Wayback Machine. Let's go back to the very day, the very morning, if you happen to remember, when you started this company. What was the original inspiration for doing so? Well, as I said before, um, the very, uh, very inspiration was to share my experience uh, with, uh, with the people, with the photographers. And in fact, I started uh, at the beginning as a consultant for other brands to design tripods, camera support, and other stuff, not only design, but also marketing. And then one year later, I, I really felt that developing my own product was really my inspiration because uh, um, I felt that it was kind of frustrating always not be able to reach the top or maximum level I wanted because of some constraints or other people was imposing like cost or other things. So I really decided to be completely free and uh, um, was a mixed feeling between uh, frustration of uh, never being able to really uh, express myself and uh, really the idea of jump uh, into a new venture completely alone. That really gives some thrill because uh, of uh, your future, your uh, future. You are uh, uh, about 40, I'm, uh, at that time I was uh, 44 and starting a new company at that age is with a family is kind of, of thrilling. <laughs> so you really need a lot of uh, enthusiasm uh, in order to do so. So that is uh, what really inspirational. And uh, my family is giving me the strength to fight every day to never give up uh, because uh, you know for a small company out of nothing uh, is, is difficult. Uh, as you can imagine. When a company releases a, a new product or service, they, they generally have a particular avatar uh, in mind or a person that they, they feel this, this item was designed for. Can you share with us who that person is here? Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for asking. Uh, this is a bit strange for us, maybe it's very different from uh, what other companies think. Uh, we love photography, we, we shoot a lot with many different cameras. When we develop a new product, we think uh, of what some people can do with a camera. You basically can do anything, go in any place, uh, shoot anything. So we look at pictures uh, on Instagram, we get inspired by location, by places. And uh, at the end of the day, we have in mind always the photographer that loves what uh, he or she does. Uh, with a special attitude, with a personality that is independent by gender or age. And I think that uh, this personality of photographers coming out very strongly in social media, like Facebook or Instagram, where people can shape their own profile by the pictures they post, they, you understand the passion they have behind. So as a matter of fact, we see we are attracting people with a strong personality, with their own point of view, and they love for sure their equipment. But uh, it's very strange because this is general attitude. And then you can have some people that are very technical about the product. They ask any kind of question. And other people that are just art, 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 artist, artists that are get just inspired by beauty, by style. And because we combine beauty and style with technical aspects, we are able to attract uh, more people. So, and I think um, um, women, uh, ladies, are also uh, play a key role in the industry. That's why even for bags or for straps, we uh, always ask uh, an opinion to ladies photographer what they ask for long hair so, or comments like that. Because I think there are too much uh, masculinity, masculinity in our <laughs> yeah, 
said that the point of view of ladies, female photographers is very important to us. So we, we try to keep an eye on uh, not only on one specific target, but uh, people that love photography, basically. Uh, our dream is to develop a product range uh, of smart accessory products can help uh, everybody to make photography more enjoyable, a pleasant experience. What has been your proudest accomplishment to date for 4V Designs? Uh, without any doubt, I guess, given my people has been Photokina 2016 last, last year. Nice. For us, it was crazy because, as you know, August in Italy, everything shuts down because it's the peak of the holiday season. Photokina is just September. So we had a, a very long list of ambitious goals like developing bags, new products, uh, build our own booth with our own personality. In August, uh, we were so late, you couldn't find any worker, any supplier open, everything was closed. We went, uh, I remember a few days in August, hot summer days, looking for special screws or tooling or rushing down to Florence where our products are made to check prototypes, tooling. And then we were so late, we couldn't pack the stuff to ship properly through logistics. So we had on a spot, find a truck, rent a truck, load everything up without any packing, nothing until three o'clock in the morning, the very same day we had to leave. Drive 1000 kilometers full day to Fotokina. On the way there, we got a call that our flat was not available for overbooking. So we didn't know where to go to sleep. Unload all the truck, prepare the stand, a great photokina, everything was there. Bags, straps, <laughs> banners, everything was perfect. Fantastic meeting photographer friends, then reload, disassemble, reload, drive all the way down. So photokina was uh, fantastic for us, uh, like uh, a safari, <laughs> almost an incredible achievement for us, that's for sure. It seems common that companies title their product as being the best in the marketplace. How do you feel 4B Design compares to others in the marketplace? Yeah, thank you for asking this. Uh, I mean, for us, saying best uh, must be is very strong wor a word. So we really don't try to present uh, our product like best because it seems we have not enough uh, things things to say about it. I realized thinking of this that. Uh, uh, we, we ask the best material to our suppliers, so the best the component, the, the best leather, everything the best to put together. But this doesn't guarantee per se that the product is the best. We know we are doing the best we can by developing the product uh, very carefully, by testing all the product from competitors, by testing the product themselves. Uh, we are, when we release a product, we want to make sure it's perfect to us. But the best uh, is very is a different topic. It must be we let our customers to tell us if they are the best or not. For sure, our products are, and I think more complete than other products. When you buy another product from competitors, they look nice, but then sometimes uh, uh, when you test them, it seems they are not being perfectly fine tuned. Uh, what we believe our products being, we really fine tune our product so that when the customers can test it, they are really happy. They don't find uh, uh, things um, obviously in, they can be obviously improved. That's because our products are so well made. The best really we can uh, we can manifest. Another term that is somewhat cliche and tossed around a lot is innovation. How do you feel? Yeah your bags, your straps are innovating. Yeah, uh, to me, to us, innovation must be something completely different. That gives uh, an advantage, a clear advantage of perception when you use the product. Uh, nowadays, there are a lot of invention, innovations that are marketing uh, topics uh, that are written in catalogs. They persuade you that this makes a huge difference. But then when you use a product, you are happy because you have this innovative product. But in your really life, you don't really feel such a big difference of this innovation. Um, we are really bringing through innovation through some uh, materials. We are using a combination of materials because I think that uh, innovation is taking something that exists, combined together in a different way to give some real um, 
physical or practical advantages to uh, the consumer. Um, we are the only company, as a matter of fact, that can use a traditional leather combined to high-tech materials. Usually, people or companies working on leather, they are very traditional in the material choice. People working with technical products, they don't use natural material like leather. We are the only company that can combine high-tech materials and even high-tech hardware made of metal with traditional leather manufacturing. No other brand can do this. So that's why we believe we are strongly innovative. Also with technical solution and really you recognize this innovation when you use our products. This is a proven comment for, by our customers. Now I see you have a variety of camera straps and bags. Which was your very first product to market? <laughs> yeah, we, we launched the Lusso line because Lusso is the Italian word for luxury and we wanted to really go out with the bang product line. So we launched two, two Lusso straps. One was more practical software for bigger DSLR. One instead was the Lusso made in a very special way, very typical of the Italian tradition with two leather layers stitched together by uh, only one needle go all the way around. And we introduced in this uh, new collection our uh, battle lords that are our memory foam that gives a very, very fantastic feeling perception on your skin. And uh, um, one of uh, our characteristics that are a no-slip surface that we call ultra grip. It is great for, no, for having the camera very secure. So really, we launched already with this new, the first two collection, Lusso collection, very high-end, uh, uh, and a very innovative uh, line of uh, straps. Uh, they, they are still uh, on, on sale and uh, they are uh, still selling very well. Very unique uh, product. Now, as you know, I'm using one of your straps on my camera right now and I'm a leather guy. I personally, I, uh, you can tell the difference between regular leather, cheap leather, and a very, very high-end leather. Uh, and so if you would, I put you guys into the last category, very high-end leather. But for the sake of the listeners here, can you talk to us a little bit about the leather that you guys are using in your camera straps and bags? Thank you. Thank you for asking. Uh, the leather we use is indeed a spectacular leather. Um, it's made only in the area around Florence, and only a, a limited group of tanneries can make this leather is um, um, a leather that in Italy we call cuoio, it's kind of saddle leather, so it's very thick leather. And we start from a very thick leather, then, then we thin down. And this leather has, uh, in Italy, a fantastic uh, uh, ancient tradition. It's uh, centuries, is really passed on generation by generation. This leather is all made by hand, and it uses absolutely no chemicals, only products that come from vegetables. So. This gives the leather a fantastic smell, but it allows the leather to preserve all the natural grease and oil, so this leather will never crack over time, and the more you use, the more beautiful it gets. It's a fantastic solution because it doesn't give nothing, so it's very strong, very solid. Uh, you can find this leather 20, 30 years from now, like new, and it's very good on the environment because without using chemicals doesn't create any allergy, allergy, allergic uh, reaction on your skin. It is uh, very, very soft and also for the environment. You don't throw in the environment chemicals. So we are very proud of this choice. Of course, uh, it's, it's not easy to find. Sometimes lead time is long because it's all done by hand, by whole artisan laboratories. They're going in there. For me, it's just an experience because our places don't give nothing because they're dirty, ugly, terrible. Sometimes I have to go there, put all these rolls in my car. I have to keep the windows down because it, I cannot breathe. It's so, so strong. And then every time is a little bit different. So you have to go there, choose the leather you want. And uh, it's really being part of this leather business is a fantastic uh, experience. So is the secret of our product. Nobody in the world are using this leather to develop leather bags for cameras and for, for, for camera straps. So we are very proud of this. Can you share with us a little bit about the manufacturing process that these products go through? 
Yo, thank, thank you all so much for asking. Uh, sometimes I, I think we are crazy because uh, usually you go to a supplier, you make a drawing, and you ask them to, to produce the stuff for you. This uh, usually works, above all the accessory. Instead, we do something completely different. We go to uh, Mama and Papa laboratories in the Florence area that do only the stitching, and they work for luxury brands, very famous in Italy. And uh, um, they are used to work with very traditional products like this kind of leather, and they know nothing about all the technical products or hardware or forms or padding you knew you need for camera equipment or camera application. So they 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 give to us their knowledge. They uh, pass on generation by generation how to stitch luxury leather. What we do, and we, that's why we we are crazy. I think we buy. All the rest, we buy the thread, we buy the foam, we buy the leather because we go and choose the, the best leather. We do all the microfiber with the no sleep uh, surface. We buy from all Italian suppliers, some supply from Germany, the hardware, all nickel free to avoid any allergic reaction. We want to make sure our suppliers respect the environment. We buy everything, we keep in our warehouse, and before every production, we prepare big boxes. We count uh, the, the, the buckles, we count uh, the meters of tape required, and we ship this mom and papa old style laboratory that the cutting, the stitching, they prepare for us. And uh, this way, it's very difficult for people to copy us because nobody knows where we buy this stuff. Uh, we, we create this mix of technical products with ancient style of manufacturing that makes our products absolutely unique nobody can uh, can do this your straps are these more designed for mirrorless or dslr cameras or both very good. yeah we have uh, um, a wide range so we start from very slim strap, straps for compact cameras and then we go up to uh, big mirrorless um, the interesting thing is that uh, thanks to our uh, rich padding uh, that I think I have uh, here stuff. We have a very rich padding, and uh, uh, people don't believe that uh, with uh, without having a huge strap, you can carry very very nicely a big load. Usually, people believe a big camera needs a very big strap. Uh, that sometimes it gets uncomfortable, it gets on the way, it's too bulky. Instead, we found I think a very great uh, balance between design, style, and comfort. And the trick is that if you have a nice, rich padding, rounded, that doesn't dig in your, in your neck, you can really distribute well the, the weight without having a bulky uh, strap. So our strap, we have straps for every, every camera. Uh, our straps can comfortably carry uh, an Asselblad H system with the large lens and uh, for a full day. And uh, we use premium material, so our connectors are extremely strong. They are in excess of 10 kilograms for each connection, so weight is, is not an issue for our stripes. Now, you have a couple of camera bags. Can you talk to us briefly about these two? Yes, thank you. We are super proud of our camera bags because uh, we love leather bags, uh, absolutely, but also we want to carry we love our equipment. And we found that leather bags sometimes are so beautiful, but not so practical like professional bags. So we introduce into leather bags a lot of concepts that usually you find in professional bags. Um, so we have uh, all our compartments are zipped with YKK zippers, so you don't lose problems. Then many casual leather bags, camera leather bags, have no zipper, so it's easy to lose lenses or bits and pieces. And our bags are a little bit narrower, deeper, a little bit taller than usual leather bags. So you can fit more nicely, longer zooms, or um, have a better accessibility to, to the products. So um, we are very happy because we have been able to combine uh, robustness, uh, durability, with the easy access, to the beautiful uh, design of luxury bags. Uh, another important point is that uh, all our bags come with a removable insert. So and I think this is very, very important for leather bags. Because if you buy, invest your money in a luxury bag made in Italy, you want to use it every day. 
to commute, for business, for traveling, and uh, not just for photography. So the padding you can remove. You, we have a lot of pockets and everything to keep here your equipment. And then you can go around in the evening, dinner time, or commute with a beautiful Italian leather bag. Now, you're offering free shipping to the U.S. Is yes. that as accurate? What items fall under this promotion? Well, um, at the moment, we are not distributed in the United States. So we cannot, uh, we have to support the customer from US. Uh, they cannot pay for enough for our inefficiency. So whatever you buy, we ship for free. Uh, we have, a, we put a limit uh, that is uh, uh, for purchases above 90 euros because uh, we ship with DHL air freight uh, express delivery, which is very expensive. So below 90 euros, we don't do it. But uh, for basically only few accessories are below that price. Uh, most of our straps and bags are above uh, 90 euros, so you can enjoy DHL uh, express shipment to your door uh, in uh, four or five days maximum. Wow. Uh, we have uh, we are very happy. Uh, so far in two years, we had a, we ship a lot of stuff to the United States. They are all happy. We have a lot of nice comments, so we are very proud to offer this service to United States uh, customers. Very cool. Now, what sort of warranty comes with a 4V design? camera strapper bag? Yeah, we offer two-year warranty uh, for defects on manufacturer. Uh, in the sense that uh, of, uh, a leather bag uh, or a leather strap, uh, you can have some wear and tear, that's, that's normal. We use very premium materials, so uh, all our products are really robust. And usually the fats, uh, if they appear, they appear only in the first week or months of use. Uh, to be a bad stitching or something like that. We replace, uh, no problem. Uh, or, or repair, usually we replace. We have to say that we are so careful of what we ship, we inspect everything, we produce a smaller production loss to make sure warranty. In two years, we change only one strap for a very bad uh, bad stitching. But we are absolutely very proud of our quality. For a small company like us, it's better to invest two, three dollars more in the cost of the product rather than think of substituting products all of, from all over the, pro the place. So we will be already uh, bankrupt uh, by this time if we wouldn't ship perfect products. Well, it's funny when when my my strap came and the few things that I really liked about it. Look, I have to share this with you here. I know we, we're running out of time here, but I I really have to share this. So I, I'm constantly looking at packaging, and now of course there was a white lid, bo heavy box on this. The box weighs a is a heavy duty box, and I took. Of course, I have one of your smaller straps for my mirrorless camera here. And I took it out, and of course I'm looking at the detail and the 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 uh, all the 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 hardware that comes into the box for the presentation of what you're going to get. And now this is the one for obviously for my my mirrorless, and I haven't installed it yet, but I just love how it really feels so snug on the on my my wrist. But I may or may not have told you this, so this is something I got to share with you. The camera strap I had on my, my D800, 8, 810 rather, I loved it. I'm not going to say the other brand because I, I really loved that brand. I loved the, the strap that was on it, and I never thought I would take it off. <laughs> the strap that came here, my goodness, I have to say, the hardware, I, I'm absolutely floored with the level of craftsmanship that you guys put into it. And the leather smell. I. Yeah. I had a meeting yeah. earlier this week up with Microsoft up in Los Angeles, and the drive back, Luca, the only thing <laughs> I could smell in my car, which again I love it, be, is this rich smell of leather, and it was it was absolutely extraordinary. I loved it. So, anyways, I got us off path. I'm going to close it off with what is one word that you feel best describes 4V designs. Well, this is the most tricky question because I talk a lot, as you see. For me, one war is, is very difficult. I would say, I, I don't know, love, passion. I don't know. We are very passionate for what we do. We, we love people, uh, passion. And we, for me, it's a dream to have uh, our own company, to be with you, to be in, in the face of customers and do our best to offer the best we can think of. So for me, it's just 
passion, honor to be a little company in the industry trying to 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 be some to do something big uh, with the support of everybody. So uh, I, I would never imagine that in two years we could be here with this showroom, with this line of products, with the bags, with you in California talking about this with your big audience. Uh, for me, it's just amazing um, because we we live of, of this and we want to do the best really we can from our heart, from our passion. Well done. And you know, as a It's not worth it, but I don't know how to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm going to throw on, this is the first time in, this is episode 169 of these Learn and Explore interviews. I've never once in all these episodes thrown in a, a, a word here. I always ask everybody the same question. What's the one thing that you believe best describes your product? I'm going to throw in one here because the, I've tested a lot of different straps in the last seven years that Photography Talk has been in, in existence. And if I were asked, what is the one word that I believe best describes 4V designs? Look, I'm going to have to say swanky. It is, it's very, it complements the look of my camera. It feels like a million bucks on my shoulder. And it just, I, I'm going to repeat myself, it just looks fantastic. So that's my word, swanky. It looks, it's fantastic. So. Luca, you've provided our listeners with so many valuable tips. Before we part ways, can you share with our listeners one final piece of advice? Also, where they can find you on the web, then we'll say goodbye. Okay, thank you so much to you. So, uh, <laughs> we, we invite you to come and visit our website, www.4vdesign.it. Uh, we have images, all the tests and everything, but please write to us. We like replying. Any question you might have, we learn a lot from you. So write to us, ask us questions. We put frequently asked questions session. We, we need your help to, to understand what you like, what you don't like, what we can improve. So thanks so much. Uh, and uh, come and visit us, contact us, uh, take a look at our products. Indeed. All you photography talkers, I told you this was going to be a awesome interview. And what's even more awesome is you get the opportunity to, to feel and, and see one of these, these straps in person. You're going to really get an idea of why I'm so enthusiastic about this camera strap. Yes, it's a camera strap, and but it is an amazing camera strap. So we're going to, in the show notes down below the video here, we're going to have the links that we discussed here in the show notes at photographytalk.com forward slash learn explore 169. Look at thank you very much for expert knowledge photography talk. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Alex. A big kiss from Italy. Thanks so much. Right back at you, you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao.